हेलो गाइस दिस इज सोनल मुडगरे बाल पांडे एंड यू आर वाचिंग सोनल द कोच एसएमबी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू ऐड अ डिलीट रो इन द ग्रिड सो हियर इज टू कॉलम्स आईडी एंड टाइटल एंड आई वांट टू ऐड वन मोर कॉलम विद एन एक्शन डिलीट सो दिस थर्ड कॉलम विल हैव डिलीट टाइटल हियर एंड देन फॉर ईच रो द वैल्यू विल बी द लिंक ऑफ delete so let's get started first step for this is add call action column in the grid so i have divided this functionality into three parts first part is add action column in the grid so as you know now this grid is coming from the ui component so of course for adding a column here we need to go to the ui component file and add a extra column there now generally you add column with like this right so this is my primary id column so first column and of course title also looks similar so we just change here column name and this is the label now if you want to add an action column in that case you need to use this code okay so i will copy this code and put it here in my ui component file so let's go to that folder yeah so this is sonal article is my directory okay and now from article this is my module name view from admin html ui component and this is the file so we can see here column article id and title has been added now i am going to add a third column which is action column delete so copy and paste just and paste just below the last column of your file so this is my last column and i am putting just below this okay looks cool now we simply copied this code from there here now we will need to make three changes here first is the class name second is the primary id third is the url path view url path so these are three changes will help us to implement this functionality and you so this will be the label of my third column so we just copied and pasted okay so i have shown you the the text which you need to modify here in the bold you can see this this and this so in this file we will modify these changes so let's change the club class name so this is my vendor name here is sonal my module name is article you can see here also vendor name module name and now ui component listing and this is the delete action so of course these folders are not present over here so i will create it ui folder inside the article directory then component inside ui component folder then listing folder inside the component columns inside the listing now is the delete action dot php file so we need to copy any php file and put it over here paste name of the php file is perfect and now what code are we going to write here is this why do we need this file because the url of that delete action you know which will be present in every row will be coming from this this php file so let me just copy this code and will tell you what things you need to modify here in this file here of course name we are going to change vendor name article okay so before modifying let me show you the changes uh, remaining changes in this file so this is going to be your primary id my primary id is article id then view url path because this is the root id and controller name and then the action file 
so here my root id is sonal so i will put this over here my controller name is article so let me write that here all in small and then delete action so this two files okay first and the second file i will need to create so this will be controller file and this will be y component file so let's we have copied the content let's modify it as per our requirement so here is this file we just change this now let's change the other things which is simply the primary id of your table so this is my primary id that's it okay so just namespace and the primary id name that's it these are the only changes you need to do now i have put it this in bold so that you can understand what changes we need to make over here what exactly is this file doing so this file is giving the path to that delete link so this will be a link and the correct url path will be given from this function okay now let's go to the third step which is create the controller for delete action so we have mentioned it here right but we have not created this file so let's create it in the controller copy paste and remove to delete okay and code let's copy from here wonderful so what changes you need to make in this file simply the namespace and the module name model name and the message if you want to update okay and this so let's change the mod namespace first my controller name is the article as you have seen so this is the complete path to this file so it's present here controller admin html and then article controller admin html article perfect matching then the next change is the module model so my model is let me see the path sonal article model and the article is the file perfect let me update over here sonal article model article sonal article model article perfect so if you want to modify the message you can so you deleted the article you deleted the article success Save and this is simply the perfect. So these are few changes which we made. Okay, so now everything looks perfect. Let's clear the cache and see our changes. So after refreshing this page, you can see here the delete column has been added, and you can see for every delete action mouse over. Uh, see the URL. So on the article, delete ID one. Then if I go to second, third. So in this way, this article ID means the primary key has been appended with the help of this file. Okay, delete action. So let me just test this now. Let me click delete. So I'm expecting that this third row will be deleted from this grid. Yeah, so you got the message that you deleted the article successfully. Awesome, and let's see the records now. Yeah, good. So there are two records now. So in this way, deleting a particular row functionality has been uh, successfully done in the grid. Thank you so much. Do comment below about uh, this video, and also if you want to learn new topics, you can definitely mention that in the comment box. I will definitely create a video and help you. 
एंड डू नॉट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब डू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट दैट लाइक बटन